What's up guys, Barry Gaming here, back with some more Idle Heroes, and today, since we do have a main householder now on our Lord of Fear Aspen, well, we're going to see what type of damage he can do in a Flame Shrine type situation, again, now that he has all the power. Uh, we are going to keep Vulcan in the lineup, and that's kind of just for his core to give us additional attacks going off. Where is it? Right down here. He'll be getting additional like secondary freezing pierce, things like that where he's gonna be able to hit for a lot more damage with additional hits. We're just gonna see how this works out. I feel like it's gonna be good. Uh, we're gonna stick with the snake. I mean, I kinda wanna see how this works out because we should have poison on all the targets, right? This hits uh, all enemies. Additionally, poison enemies with Moreau. I mean, it's not as guaranteed. You know, we'll stick. Nope, not you. Uh, we'll stick with the snake for the time being. Let's do that. Let's see how this damage turns out and compare it to our main team that has Vulcan as our main damage dealer. Now, we are going to place him in the front because Drake is should put defense down on the one across from him. We might need to adjust where we put them depending on how this goes. So let's jump into it. Let's see how attack number one goes. Let's see if there's any issues as well. Oh no, he put it on the back one again. And this is the one thing I hate with Lord of Fear Aspen with Drake is you have to put Lord of Fear Aspen across from the target who is going to have the defense down. If you don't, you're going to see we're hitting the target that doesn't have defense down. But the thing is, I've seen this Faith Blade, like I've seen them have different positionings. This right here is going to be a complete wash. We're just going to skip past it here. Uh, yeah, only 166 trillion. That's not a great damage number, but that's essentially having no damage with the Drake synergy. Let's see if we can get this to line up properly this time. So what we're going to do is go back into our presets now, go back to our PVE boss, go to our deploying, and we're going to just switch their positions around. If he's in the back here, you know, I'm going to put him all the way in the back. That should work properly. Now, I'm praying. I'm absolutely praying that Drake still applies that defense down to that top right target. Please, please, please work. Okay, so it's up there. That's going to be good. Of course, our first round is always going to be a dud with our Lord of Fear Aspen. But starting in round two, we should be hitting this one up here every single time. And we're going to have to see how this damage turns out. I'm not quite sure. We, of course, have additional hits because of that uh, Vulcan core. I think our previous record with Vulcan and Mockman, we were hitting about 500 trillion. So we're going to have to see. I really want to get to the one quadrillion. I really do. And I don't know if Lord of Fear Aspen can do it, especially since we don't have all of his tenants like fully kitted out with like flags uh, Origin 5, that type of nonsense that we did with the Vulcan. But I do think the Vulcan, even with the Demon Bell, is going to do a decent amount of damage here. If Aspen had a better basic attack, I'd honestly be tempted to just run a Antler's Cane on our Vulcan as well. But if Aspen isn't getting an active, his damage is going to suffer a lot. Man, the Vulcan still seems like he is pumping out some damage here. Like some crazy high damage numbers. I can't really compare him, though, to the Lord of Fear Aspen hit. I mean, that's a lot of extra white hits, but look at the sheer number of hits that a Vulcan does. And a Vulcan really highlights when he's up against two to three targets the best. His damage just gets insane. I don't know if Lord of Fear Aspen, even with that increased 120% damage dealt, is going to be the king here. But if he is the king... I'm going to be really, really happy. And we're going to have to compare it to our other numbers from earlier in the week. Okay, so we got the perfect Demon Bell feeding here. Uh, we get this off. You go first. Boom. And then let's see the damage here. So it's hard to tell because it looks like the damage numbers had reset. So I really don't know how much damage the Lord of Your Aspen is doing. It's so hard to tell. How much are the counterattacks doing here? 422. I mean, it doesn't even seem like that much, really, right? Okay, we have one more round here. We get one more of the snake actives. Yeah, it's so hard to tell because of the way that damage is working here. 
Okay, so we got, can, can anybody hit the queen? Hit the queen, hit the queen. No one hit the queen. All right, final round. Let's see what the damage, look at those stacks. Oh my God, so much, so many stacks. Big damage numbers coming in. So those were a lot of hits, but was it actually significant or not? I can't tell. Let's see our, okay, counterattacks here. We do 460 million. Wow, why did Drake do so much damage? Unless it's already like reset the damage number, which is potentially a thing. And our final damage number is 251. So yeah, it's kind of a... <sighs> kind of a depressing sight here because I mean, yeah, we would probably do more damage in the long run if we had like all of our tenants and everything set up fine because I'll show you guys right here. Uh, if we do come in over here, he is only origin, uh, he's origin five, but he's only X level 40. The thing that's really missing on him is going to be his overall power here. And honestly, we don't have the Vulcan in a home either, whereas we had Vulcan and Mockman, and they were pretty optimally set up. I mean, we could even more optimally set up this Mockman tenant, which probably would make sense for the majority of stuff that we're about to do here. Um, we could probably just go with like a 3-1 split gear setup on him. Oh, geez, he didn't even have a flag on him, did he? I need to grab myself a transcendent slide. Oh my goodness, these are not good at all. We don't really even have a good stone for him to use. Yikes. So yeah, this was not very optimally set up, but at the same time, it's not that big of a deal, really. Um, We do need a flag at this point, though. Who has a flag? Because I want to make sure tomorrow when we do this, uh, we get it done a little bit more properly. You've got a flag, you got a flag. All right, we'll just go and grab the one off of Eos for the time being, and we'll slap it on to you. That should give him quite a bit more power because we were at like 9 million attack and 9.3. Again, it's not quite enough to be that much of a difference. And even though he does have that thing that we've been talking about, the Demon King's Might, I mean, it still just feels like Vulcan can do it just a little bit better, which makes me think, I wonder how Vulcan would do in a situation like the Star Expedition boss, just substituting him in instead of Lord of Fear Aspen. I really don't know because his active skill is going to do some crazy, crazy damage here. Hmm. I don't know. It could be worth testing out, but as far as PvE damage goes... Yeah, Lord of Fear Aspen is not going to stack up to our Vulcan lineup, sadly. So hopefully you guys enjoy this one. Let me know what you guys think. Should I change anything else? I'll see you guys next time.